finally, everything is ready to start the control system of our simulated robot in Gazebo. The URDF model is configured to load the Gazebo ROS2 control plugin and the interface the simulated robot hardware in Gazebo with the ROS2 control library. We have defined the input and the output interfaces of each joint of the robot and also we have configured the controller manager to interact with the robot's hardware and also with the other ROS2 applications. In this lesson, we will create a new launch file that starts all of this logic and functionalities. So let's open the Visual Studio code and in the Arduino bot controller, let's create the new folder called launch and here within this folder let's add a new file called controller.launch.py since this is our ROS2 launch file it is composed of a launch description object that we import from the launch library so the launch description and then we need to define the function generate launch description that returns an object of type launch description which takes as input the list of all the functionalities that we want to start with this launch file. So let's start by launching the robot state publisher node which reads the URDF model and publish its information into our ROS2 topic. We have already done this inside the Arduino bot description package inside the display.launch so let's copy this one the node that is in charge of launching the robot state publisher and let's paste it here also let's remember to import the class node so this one this instruction here to import the node and now instead of using the model argument in the launch file as we did here so where we enable the possibility to use a different model here in the controller.launch let's directly indicate the directory where the URDF model of our robot is located. So let's import the OS library and also let's import from the launch ROS from the parameter description let's import the parameter value class and also from launch substitutions so from launch substitutions let's import the class command now we need to assign a value to the robot description variable so before it is used let's assign a value and so here we need to indicate the directory where the URDF model of the robot is located so let's use a parameter value so let's create a new object of this type within this one let's run a new command and the command that we want to run let's insert this one within a list and so we want to run the command xacro to convert first the xacro model into a plain urdf model and then we need to pass the full path of the urdf model so we can use the function join okay and here let's also remember to import the get package share direct so from ament index python from the packages module let's import the get package share directory and we can use it here within the join function to get access to the arduino bot description package in which we have created the URDF model. Then once we are in the Arduino bot description package let's access to the URDF folder and then within this folder let's access to our file that we called arduino bot.urdf.xacro and also we want this command so here we want this to be loaded with a value type value type of a string so str now 
the robot state publisher is completed and for each of the controllers that we have created and configured for the controller manager inside the configuration file, so inside this file the Arduino bot controllers, we need to create a new node that starts each controller, so including the gripper controller, joint state controller and arm controller, so we need to start three nodes. Let's start with the joint state broadcaster. So let's create a new variable of type joint state broadcaster spawner. And so this is a new ROS2 node that we want to start from the package controller manager. And from this package, we want to start the executable that is called spawner. And let's pass some arguments to this launch file. So the arguments of this launch file. So let's pass the name that we set for the controller. So the joint state broadcaster. So let's pass this name here within the argument. So we want the controller manager to spawn this controller. So the joint state broadcaster. And then let's also use the flag controller manager. to start it with the namespace controller manager. Now, this is all we need for the controller manager to spawn the controller joint state broadcaster. We can copy these same lines and we can paste it here twice. And so now we can spawn the remaining two controllers. So the gripper controller and the arm controller. So let's change the name of this one to be R controller spawner. And still from the controller manager package, let's start the spawner executable. And this time it is called the R controller, the controller that we want to spawn. And finally, let's create the gripper controller spawner that from the controller manager takes the executable spawner and starts the gripper controller. To complete this launch file, let's add all these variables, so all of these nodes that we have created, inside the list of the launch script, so that they will be started when we launch the file. So let's start with the robot state publisher, then the joint state broadcaster spawner, then the R controller spawner and finally the gripper controller spawner. With this the launch file is completed and now since we have created the new launch folder within the Arduino bot controller package we need also to inform the compiler about the existence of this folder and also that it should install it. So here where we have already installed the config folder let's also install the launch folder. Let's save and additionally, in the package.xml file, we need also to list the dependencies, including all the packages that we have used to create the launch file. And so here, let's add a new execution dependency from the ROS2 launch library, and then another one, so another execution dependency from the robot state publisher and then let's add another execution dependency from the Xacro package and one last dependency from the controller manager package from which we used the node spawner.